end is another day for the Rattler. The good old... More? Oh, Jesus, come on. So I shall. Pain in the ass. The charred corpse. Deep mushrooms. As you desire. Uh. Oh yes, Morgan. Let's give you more magic and a bit more will. Actually, let's drop one point of magic, give you a bit more life. The bear shape would be kind of cool. But this cone of cold is really really what we want. That cone of cold is just I, I mean it's All right. it's a game changer. One fire arrow. Beautiful. Thank you, game. Is this gonna cause creepy crawlies? Fancy scroll. Huh. That's what someone had mentioned. Um. Oh, feast day credits. <laughs> Where was books and songs? Is it here? Characters we kind of know. The Elven Ritual. Uh, Brazilian Forest. The Elven Ritual. The earthen tablet you recovered is covered in writing. Perhaps Elven, most of the lettering is faded, making it indecipherable. There are numerous pictographs, however, which seem to indicate some kind of cleansing ritual to perform prior to honoring the dead. First pictograph depicts a filled earthen jug being placed on an altar. Okay, I think I remember this. Although I don't think I ever... Did I ever do... I think I, like, died last time trying to do it. I don't know. It's been a while. Well, we definitely know we've got a nasty here. Now this is more like it. More again. Let's just break these mines. Turn off the ice weapons. Oh, let's just deal with these ones and move on. Now we get our hands dirty. Imagine Rattler has got it. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell? This this is really bad. Oh god damn it, Rattler. I mean, we've all gotta run into here. Can you do a dire howl? Yes. Alright. I mean, we just got... We got really screwed over by this one. But, yeah, I mean, you can see how big of a difference it makes. Alright, let's just keep... keep this up. Beautiful. Uh, keep trying to break him down. Keep trying to break him down. Now you know what. Keep trying to break him down. Beautiful. Fenelgo is down, but 
Rattler will be joining him soon if we aren't careful. As will Morrigan. Can't go that way. Try and just charge through them. Beautiful. Just try and keep them back. Really need that extra mana. How much is that? 40? We have 41, right? Oh no, 33. Shit. Ah! shot on him? No, we can cripple him. Why do they bother? You are Why why can you guys not hit? No, why are you not... What? Are both of your weapon sets? Shit, how did I do that? God damn it. So that could have gone better, but it also could have gone a lot worse. And considering we got entirely surrounded there, I think that's a good sign. I know people are screaming at me as to why I'm not using my, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, injury kits. Yet, if there was an achievement to, like, use no injury kits, that'd be fine. Jim is vibrating. Show it to the other party. A device meant to hold a spirit, perhaps? Such would be my guess. Though, what might be left of any spirit within after such a long time trapped? <laughs> Elf magic. Is that blood in there? Whose, I wonder? You think it will be all dried up after so long? There must be magic involved. Um... I, I don't honestly remember. There is an end of the Can we just take it and... Well... You know what? Uh, I want to save, but not to go back and do anything again. It's in case something comes out of this. I'm going to take... Touch the gem. The presence in the gem is that first alarm when you touch recoils in fear, and the image that rushes your minds are one of imprisonment and loneliness. I am sorry. I did not mean to frighten you. The presence calms and then is racked with indecision. Rather than have you leave it, it begs you to stay. More images flash through your mind. Time that the presence has spent trapped within this life gem. Time where the presence has slept, gone mad, and then slept again. The presence has no name it can remember. You get the sense of an elf, a mage, in glittering silver armor. This was long ago remembered as the ah, uh, as if through a fog. You were once a mage. You see an image again of the elf in silver armor. One who is mage and warrior both. The name for the order he belongs to translate in your minds to the arcane warrior. What is this place? What happened here? It's the present must think back to a time it barely recalls at all. You see a place of serenity where the eldest come to slumber and are visited by those who offer tribute to the gods on their behalf. Um, the presence memories of what happened there are uncertain. There are flashes of violence of war, but it is all so long ago. None of it is clear. 
Was this a war with the humans? Presence remembers the human. This was the time even after the humans had come. It was they who had built this place long before. Perhaps the war was with other humans. Perhaps it was with something else. Something that killed both the humans and the elves that were here. It is not clear. How did you end up in this gem? You see an image of a great battle. Elves and humans both screaming and attempting to flee from some terrible presence. What that presence was is blurry and lost to time. Presence fled the destruction by using the life gem, escaping its body. It was sure that someone would come to rescue it, but no one did. How do I know you're not a spirit tricking me? You see faint images of a mage holding life gem and chanting in an unknown language. There are no other memories. The presence does not know how to prove this to you. Is there anything I can do? There are no images for a time, only a feeling of keening loneliness, a sense of being trapped, and a mind that is only tenuously present any longer. Presence could give you what knowledge remains within it of how to become an arcane warrior. You are no mage yourself, but you could teach such knowledge to those who are. This is all the presence have left to offer any longer, the last bit of its memories. In return, the presence asks only one thing from you, oblivion. How would I give you the release you seek? The image comes from a faint and uncertain. You see a stone altar and the life gem placed upon that altar. Life gem then vibrates and explodes, destroying the presence within forever. The yearning that follows this image is keen and almost hopeless. Yes, I will help. The image becomes tinged with desperation. The presence cannot remember where the altar is, but it knows the life gem must be placed on it. As the life gem nears the altar, the presence becomes overcome with emotion. Could its endless nightmare finally be over? The images that are sent to your mind depict a clear question. Do you still wish to learn the skills of the arcane warrior? The presence is ready to teach you. Yes, give me your memories. The memories flood into your mind. They are hazy and incomplete, but enough for any mage to gather a few of the talents that the arcane warrior once possessed. Now the presence asks you that you keep your promise. Release it from its eternal prison. Nah! Place the artifact on the stone altar. The last image from the presence are ones of joy. Oblivion will be a welcome relief. Traps, maybe, perchance. Is this where I came from? Yes. Ha, lols. Oh, uh, look, the only problem with you is that you're deaf. A pard need not have ears. And Sten, Sten, come on, man. Concussion? <laughs> Stop crying. Alright. Let's go with. Dex, Dex, Dex. I could do the better lock picking. Although trap making could very really be useful. I mean, I think the trap making could really be and I didn't really ever do that before. Um Mechanical expertise for the better traps. Shattering shot. Let's go... Mechanical expertise, um... I, I just consider Rattler's fingers to be a little bit more deft. Uh, you know, instruments and such. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Sten, our walking corpse buddy. You're, you're doing alright, man. You're... You're hanging in there. This, I believe, do we... Uh, submerged in the water is what appears to be a small earthen jug. Okay. I unfortunately can never remember how to get back to the Codex. Well, 
Well, let's let's do the great old. Eventually, a button will hit there. Maybe not. Uh, pooper scoopers. Would be really nice to know how to get to the codex. Oh, there. Huh. Okay. Quest related. Isn't this where... Where was the tapestry thing? Ah, the carved elven tablet. Um, the topmost panel shows a jug overflowing with water standing on an altar. Three elves are robed and positioned around the altar wall. A crowd of elves and warlike room. Take the earthen jug. Fill the earthen jug. Okay. Um, just below is a picture of all the elves. Those are Rosa. Worship. Uh, drink, so worship, drink, and uh, okay, so we want to go to worship, examine the carving on the old tomorrow. I think, well, uh, I don't think that was it. Let's fill the earthen jug. So, a crowd of St oh, the it has to be standing on the altar. Oh God, I'm not paying attention. All right, so we want to place it on, kneel and pray. Leave. Then we want to drinking from the jugs on the altar. Uh It was just drinking a little bit of it, right? The bottom edge shows the tattooed woman standing waist deep in the pool of water. She holds the jug with water spilling out of its mouth. Alright, so we want to take the earthen jug and then go to the pool.
dump the water in the jug. Yay! I did it. Well, folks, we're going to cut there. As always, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, everybody.